All right, it seems I confused some people. I don't know how many people. There's one person in particular who seemed to have a real hard time with my video. And if one person has said something, then obviously other people will probably have similar concerns. So I thought I'd explain myself a little bit. Um, when I talked about uh, adoption, I wasn't trying to say that more people on the left adopt than people on the right. I was saying that some of these people who... And th there's a lot of them out there, and it's especially can't come more prominent since the white nationalist talking points became... Since so many people have went down the white nationalist rabbit hole, um, there's been more negative viewpoints of LGBT adopting people. There are many Republicans out there who would love to make it so adoption agencies can discriminate based on, you know, sexual orientation or uh, gender uh, identity and, and so on, right? They want to make that legal, okay? Now, maybe you're one of the people who try to argue that they should be able to do that. And if you feel that way, you probably feel that anyone should probably, should be able to, any business should be able to discriminate against anything they want. And if that's where you're at, then you, you essentially want to, uh, I don't know if that's where you're at, but you've never made a comment on my video before, so I can't really be too, too far, I can't like go too far, play chess too far ahead and have it be anything valid. So... But I imagine you're someone that thinks that all of the civil rights acts since the one from 1964 uh, are uh, kind of messed up this country, right? Another thing that was mentioned was uh, that I'm just so wrong in basically pushing this notion that the right wing wants to push forth old ideas and the left wing wants to push forth new ideas. Well, in general, those things are true. In general, you know, uh, uh, left, the left uh, draws in people who are neophiles, people who like new ideas. Now, sometimes neophiles go to the point where they'll like a crappy new idea. They'll like a new idea even though it wouldn't work. Even though it's just a really shitty idea, they're going to like it just because it's not an old idea. You know, there's there's negatives to that. The same thing goes the other way around. Uh, with uh, uh, the right wing tend to be neophobes. They tend to not like new ideas. They tend to like looking at older ideas, even if those older ideas are shitty for a, for a lot of people. They'll overlook that and just say, oh, but it was so good for this group. Right? And then they'll claim that they, they don't look at groups. Now, maybe if they're not even looking at groups, maybe that's why they can't see anything wrong with it, because they just have a completely different approach. So, but uh, one of the other things that seem to be a concern is they're... they're is how I've changed my views about censorship on mainstream platforms. And yes, I have. I have changed my views on that. I had these view, these same views at some point in my past, but I got out of them and went into the whole free speech thing, uh, uh, free speech absolutist for a long period of time when it comes to, to any sort of platform. And then I realized what I... what had happened to me and my mindset. There is a reason why I went down the white nationalist rabbit hole. Okay, I went down that. I, I, there was a period where I was fully entrenched in that kind of mindset. I didn't make videos talking about it directly. I didn't say a lot of these things directly. But I was in that kind of mindset. And I was being against my own demographic.
I was a self-loathing gay person. And it was ugly. But one of the things that got me going so far down that rabbit hole is the way that YouTube would recommend videos. You go, you go to one video that, that slightly has that kind of mindset and they'll recommend, you know, 10, 10 more that, that are of that mindset and, and sometimes take you quite a bit further down that rabbit hole. And things continue to get recommended. You know, it's not like I would go on these binge-watching things all the time on that, but there'd be people that I'd subscribe to and they and YouTube's algorithm would see that I've uh, subscribed to this person. Well, maybe they'll like this person. And slowly and surely, over a period of a couple years, I uh, I really went down that rabbit hole. I went pretty far down it. Now, I mean, I do have a tendency to like to go. When I'm learning about something, I like to learn about the extremes of something so I can know where the middle is. But there wasn't really anything to filter out except my friends on Facebook. There wasn't really anything to filter out the fact that, hey, this, this, these mindsets I'm looking at, looking at have these consequences. You know, the, these are white nationalist mindsets that I'm looking at. There wasn't really anything to tell me that. Especially when so many of the people who are pushing these things say that they're not white nationalists. But I was going down that rabbit hole anyway. And the more, I, more of that stuff I watched, the more I became entrenched in that kind of mindset. Someone who I think is just... I've mentioned him a number of times before is Vincent James of Red Elephants. He continues to push red, uh, to red, yes, a red supremacist. He, he continues to push white supremacist talking points, white, yeah, supremacist, but white nationalist, I should, I should say more, but he, he kind of goes supremacist sometimes, but, uh, no, he, he pushes a lot of white nationalist talking points. He, He'll even bring up statistics and then say, uh, uh, oh, uh, well, look at black people and look at these statistics and try to say that they're, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to say any more than that. I, I don't want this video taken down because I've even said a phrase, right? But uh, he tries to uh, make certain races out to be inferior and... He pushes a lot of other fucked up mindsets, and it's it's all it's all white nationalist stuff. Their propaganda works. Their propaganda works too well. Uh, something else that was in that comment that just really annoyed me. Oh. Well, I should kind of finish the, the point I was making. Um, knowing how I got sucked into that stuff, and knowing that if, if I would have had to have gone to, you know, Stormfront or, or some other website that is known to be white nationalists, if I would have had to gone to one of the bad guys on the web to find this information... There would have at least been something there telling me, hey, this, this kind of mindset is messed up. But there wasn't anything there on YouTube for that. So I got sucked right, at that, right into it. How I got out of it was thinking about suicide and then realizing, holy shit, I need to get out of this mindset. Um, how do I get out of this? You know, if I ever start thinking about suicide, it's time to make some change and, and, and fast. Let's get out of this. You know? And that's what got me out of it. But I wish, you know, when I was looking this stuff up, I wish it wasn't just on places like YouTube. I wish it wasn't something that could have been, that could be on mainstream platforms. 
just said as if it's just, oh, it's just another opinion, it's just another viewpoint. Which leads me to the the, the part the part of a uh, of a comment that just really annoyed me is someone saying, well, you sh- basically you shouldn't be concerned about uh, white nationalist viewpoints making getting more popular. It's just a shift in society. It's just a shift. Nothing to worry about. There's a there's a fallacy for that, where it's trying to completely destroy. It, it's, it, it boils any change in society, even if it's totally for the worse. It boils down every change in society as, oh, it's just a shift, nothing to worry about. There, there, it's just, just, that, that's just fucked up. That's just fucked up on so many levels. Okay, now, now maybe, I, I don't know what this person's demographic is, but maybe he's of, of a, a demographic that wouldn't be affected by it, so it doesn't matter to him. I don't know. I just know that 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 dem, that I am a demographic that is greatly affected by that kind of thing. You know. So yeah, I'm going to be concerned. You know, a demographic that wants me to hide, wants me to hide who I am, wants me back in the closet. I'm not down. No, I'm I'm not down. A, a, demo, uh, a mindset that thinks I shouldn't have. If if I was of the mindset that I wanted to be a father, that you know, I, that I shouldn't be able to adopt, you know, because of my demographic, I I should be all right with that. I should be all right with this surge that I'm seeing, that's come since uh, it's become pretty powerful. Since Trump got elected, I sh- I shouldn't be concerned about that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm going to be concerned. I'm going to be concerned about a rising mindset, a mindset that had me thinking about suicide for a period of time. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be concerned. Yes, because it, I'm sure it affects a lot of other people in a similar manner. I don't want to see suicide rates skyrocket. You know, I don't want to see that happen. I don't want I don't want LGBT to have to to feel like at some point in the future they may have to go back in the closet. Yeah, I I don't I don't feel that's a good thing. So, yeah, it, it, just labeling it as just a shift in society. Oh, it's just a shift, nothing to worry about. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. So yeah, it, I, uh, I, I guess I, I just needed to clarify a few things, and uh, I don't know how long this video is. I'll see once I put on my glasses and, and look. <laughs>